Hi guys, welcome back to my experience guide. This week we get a new raid event. This event on Japan come out before Final Fantasy 2 event. So prepare to fight superior version of Bahamut on the global. Because like we know, Gami love to buff bosses on the global. Especially because this event should, should have happened already. So make sure you take this info with a lot of salt because from the previous Ifrit Raid event, almost all players wipe out easily on Elite difficulty. Okay, so I believe this is probably the case with this event too. However, if that's the case, I don't think we need to worry because I believe Pro is enough to get all the rewards if we are diligent enough to farm. Also, Pro difficulty probably more friendly with your time. It is pointless if you need to spend 10 minutes per battle on Elite to clear one battle. But yeah, let's talk about that later when the event is available on the global. First thing you need to know is to enter this raid, you use energies, not orbs like on the previous Ifrit event. The energy cost starts from 3 for beginner, 5 for intermediate, 8 for advanced, 10 for pro, and 13 on elite difficulty. So let's begin. Like you can see, Bahamut has 1.2 million health on the Japan. They probably make it into 1.5 or even double it. The first tip is Dragon Killer. Bahamut is Dragon type, so Dragon Killer will be useful for this battle. This means Firion and Randy will be useful again for this event because they are insane boosts for the dragon type enemy. You probably have noticed too that this week we get two global exclusive characters and both of them have buffed to fight the dragon. The bad news is they are not available via raid summon like Final Fantasy XIV. You need to use your tickets to get them. Odin also have dragon killer so make sure you pair him with your physical attacker. Also you can use the exclusive gun from this event or exclusive spear. It has good attack so you can finally give Medius good gun or even olive. You should notice that the Bahamut has minus 50% against like element. So that lead to tip number two, use like element weapon and attack. If you have played the game long enough, I believe you have Durandal or even Excalibur. Another easy way to get like elemental weapon is Holy Lens. You can exchange it from Fat Chocobo on Devastated Town. The price is 100 star quartz. If you don't know about Fetchable, make sure you check Xvius Wiki. So also try to bring Orlando if you have him, then good. But if not, then try to use your friends. The reason is he able to reduce Bahamut like resist even further. And almost all Orlando equipped Durandal or Excalibur, so he will deal insane damage to this boss. Cupid Artemius is also good because yeah, he can do light damage too. So basically anyone who able to do light damage. Tip number three, ailments. Like you can see, no resist against paralyzed, blind, sleep, and disease. So make sure you exploit them. Character like Zetzer, Darkfina, Shine, Ling are perfect for this battle. Also, pay attention. If you make the enemy sleep, then you can still attack them with magic so they won't wake up so if you think you want to exploit that thing try to inflict paralyze and sleep at different times so this means you cannot use dark fina or zetzer skill because the ailments are random so you need to inflict ailments individually it is still possible because bahamut doesn't have any resistance against those ailments. Tip number four, jump. This is a tip from Gummy. Let me explain why Gummy recommend you to do this. Based on the Japan version, 
Bahamut will doing nothing on the first turn. He will simply prepare to do Mega Flare on the next turn. So by knowing this, you can simply use Jump on the second turn to avoid the damage. Some powerful character with Jump ability are Gilgamesh, Nine, Noctis. Cain is probably the most powerful physical attacker who is trapped in 5 stars form. So yeah, he can still be useful even only max at 5 stars, especially if you only fight on the pro difficulty. The new global exclusive character, Roberta, seems so powerful too, so you can use her if you have her later. Also, Bahamut has threshold attack when its health reach 70% and 50%, so it is quite easy to predict when it's gonna launch powerful attack, so other character would not able to jump can simply use guard. So tip number 5, full break. Bahamut takes full effect from full break and other break type. So bringing character like Rain and other debuffer character will really help you on this battle. So if you want to reduce its attack and magic, then I think it is better to use Orlando because Orlando debuff effect is greater than rain full break. So tip number six, defeat it as soon as possible. Bahamut will run away after eight turns, so you really need to defeat it quickly. This mean attack and magic buff is really important to deal burst of damage quickly. Also, you can reduce its defense and spirit so you can deal more damage easily. Chaining properly also important. That's why I think if you have to Orlando on this battle, then it will be very easy. One from your party and one from your friend. Simply chain your Divine Ruination and Bahamut will dead. But let us see if they make something with this global version of Bahamut. For who doesn't have Orlando, let's just keep jumping and hope for the best. I think those are all tips I can give to you. Remember, take this info with a lot of salt. Before end this video, let us see the reward on the Japan version. So for global point rewards, you will get a total of 14 summoning tickets. So yep, that's a lot of tickets. Let us hope we can get Roberta or even Orlando from those tickets. I believe we will able to get them because the well power is strong. So you don't need to worry about gathering these points because yeah, I believe like on previous raid event, the well is crazy, okay? They they will yeah, gather points for us. So you don't need to worry. You can see the ranking reward from the global announcement page. Don't expect to get on top spot if you are not ready to burn Lapis. And I also don't recommend that because to get the first rank, yeah, you will probably compete with yeah super rich player. So unless you are super rich too, then don't try to compete with them. For personal point rewards, you will get received to craft special weapon. The only thing that draw my attention is the gun, dragon shroar. On the Japan version, you need to gather 150,000 points to get the receipt. I'm not sure about Bahamut's Fang because it is not available on the Japan version, but I like that spear too. I, I think it is pretty doable because without bonus, you will get about 1000 points on pro difficulty. So you need to get about 10,000 points per day to reach 150,000 points. So it is very easy because you will get bonus from Bahamut level 2 and you can enter pro difficulty more than 10 times per day. So I will talk more about this when the event is live. Okay, that's all about the event. I hope this video helps you prepare for upcoming raid event. If you have heroes mentioned before, you may want to level them up for the upcoming battle. Make sure you check the comment too. I will make pinned comment for additional useful heroes. 
which is recommended by you, the watcher of this video, because I cannot think all of useful heroes for this battle. So I need your help. So please leave comments if you have tips or suggestions for the battle. It will help all of us. So yep, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Breath Exius Guide. Bye guys.